I'm Blanche McIntyre and I'm here because I directed Accolade and uh, which is up for three awards which I'm very excited about. And my name is John Gill Aidan Gillett, John Gillett really Aidan Gillett and I'm here because Blanche directed Accolade. Right so how are you feeling at the moment then? Okay very jolly looking forward to it. I'm very excited. <laughs> so a big, a big general question first. Why do you come back to the, the, the Off West End Theatre and, and why do you direct, why do you act on it, what do you think it offers? Um, I, well, what I love about Off West End Theatre, this is obviously not all theatres but most of them, is that you get a much more intimate experience because as an audience you are much more close to the action, you're much more plugged into it. If it works, you can have a very much more intense time and I love that. Um, I didn't really know what I was getting into when I, did, we're talking about this play we did called Accolade. Um, I just thought it was a very good play, a very odd play. I didn't, wasn't entirely sure it would work actually, because the premise is quite odd about, you know, a guy who likes going to orgies and accidentally shags a 15 year old. Was she 15 or 14? I think she's four, she's four, and then his excuse when the dad says you've shagged my daughter of 14, uh, was she was um, wearing earrings and had her hair up. Uh, I, I thought it might not go down well, but um, I just thought it would, I'd take a punt, and I'm very glad I did because it went down very well indeed. Do you think that that notion of taking a punt is something that actually Fringe Theatre does very well in terms of perhaps yes, finding do. plays and productions that might not get a look in at bigger venues? I definitely do. Oh, um, I, I think it's a risk. I think there are. Uh, Sometimes, what, what you lose in terms of budget, let's say, um, you gain in terms of freedom to do what you want. So um, you don't always, sometimes it's not possible to get the rights for a play, sometimes you have to work around not having the money to do what you'd like, but you can be more creative because of that, and you never have somebody on your back telling you what to do, normally. So what then would you say is the point of award ceremonies like this? What do you think that they contribute to the, the bigger picture of Off West End? Um, I think I think they're fantastic. I think the Off West End Awards particularly is fantastic because people work for so little out of, or they give their time, they give their energy. Often they're not paid half of what they deserve to be paid, um, and it's just because they like the play or they like the production. They take huge risks, and sometimes the reward is very small. Sometimes the exposure is very small. So I think anything that gives back to people a little bit of um, what they put in and the risk they took is wonderful. What she says. <laughs> right, so to wrap things up then, what, what's up next for the pair of you? What are your next projects? I am doing a tour of our country's good at the moment. We are in Reading tomorrow and Berwick on Thursday and Friday. Busy. Look forward to that with the snow. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Good luck with the travel. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'm about to do a show, of, uh, a production of The Seven Year Itch at Salisbury Playhouse, which I'm very, very excited about. It hasn't been done in England since I think 2000. I think that was the only other time it was ever done here. Um, and it's a completely wonderful script. And if I can only get to Salisbury, <laughs> then I will be very pleased, very excited to start working on it. Well, good luck for the awards and good luck more generally travelling this week. Uh...